Who that is? Dante bitch, rolling up. Rollin up. Rollin up. Rollin up. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dante, man. And today we got a very interesting video, man. Today we're gonna be reacting to the shocking allegations of Playboy Cardi's opium. Shout out to the creator Risha. I seen this video on my recommended, and I thought it was very interesting because I've been reacting to opium this whole time. So I'm like, let me go ahead and check it out, man. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to say these are all allegations, they allegations. If they actually done did this shit, I'm separating the art from the artist. If the song hard is hard, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of artists out here now that do crazy shit and we still listen to their music. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I can fuck with the music, but not fuck with the artist. But these are just allegations from the title. So we're going to go ahead and see what the allegations are. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, man. Turn on post notifications. Hit that like button. And let's go ahead and get straight into this video, man. Let's go. One look at Playboy Cardi and you wouldn't really think he's the type to be in any legal trouble have jarring allegations or anything problematic in general. He's often seen in makeup, he paints his nails, and walks runway shows. However, he's far from what most people think of dude, him as. Bro. In fact, he's been in more legal trouble and street beef than your average street rapper. And some of the members of his label have mm. even crazier allegations. I'm Rashad Fashir, and this is the shocking I don't like how they zoomed in on Homicide Gang opium. like that, man. But before we talk about the label's allegations, who are they? Opium is a label founded by Playboy Cardi sometime in 2020 to increase his influence and by introducing the some fucking young rappers squad. who fit his sound to the industry, <laughs> including artists such as Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, and Homicide Gang. Since then, Ken Carson has gone on to have over a billion streams, and all the artists hey, are well- Hey, I mean they the pause. Crazy I ain't gonna lie. Ken Carson, my new favorite artist now, bro. I think he the best in opium destroy lonely and homicide gang they could battle that out but it can't carson best in opium i don't care nobody say allegations that are pretty worrying so let's get into it starting with the rapper who founded opium playboy cardi himself oh, although cardi, cardi looks like it. a pretty chill guy he actually seems to be a wolf in sheep's clothing as he has a history with violence and some pretty crazy street connections starting off with his history and allegations of violence especially in relationships dating all the way back to his teenage years back then he was dating the now famous model ruby rose who he knew since high school. I know According about this Ruby, right here. Playboy Cardi would routinely just unload the clip of his gun off of her balcony. Okay. And he was living with me. So I don't like when people like, cause people always- Damn, she looks so young, me. bro. Yeah, he would go to your house. He would come to my house and I lived in the hood in Pittsburgh and like people would shoot all the time and he would like shoot off my balcony. But then like one time, um- <clears throat> And one day after they got into What's a fight, Tom Ruby took his phone. Time. Um, <clears throat> we got in a little argument because I hit his phones before his flight and it just was like we were you hid his phones before his flight why hold on let me just keep watching outside he, he he like it wasn't directly at me it was just more like he said they were just young i mean can we just can we just touch on that one thing no but me and him were crazy so like we were young that's what it sounded like i lived in the hood he got a flight so let me hide his phone before his flight the fuck yo toxic that's so toxic would always shoot his that's so toxic balcony. And like one time, wait, I think- Wait, 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 wait. And yeah, I guess elaborate. this is an all right excuse if he had done something like this once. However, it just got worse. And pretty soon, he'd get into a number of legal situations regarding this type of behavior. In July of 2017, oh, Cardi was arrested for domestic battery after he was seen in a shoving match with a woman and grabbing her by the backpack and forcing her into an Uber at the Los Angeles International Airport. He was almost immediately arrested and was released on a $20,000 bond the next day. The next month, Lord. the charges were dropped for unknown reasons. In 2018, he did it again. That oh. February in Scotland, he was charged with trashing a tour bus and giving the driver the beats. However, Cardi's tour managers maintained that Cardi was acting in self-defense, but a witness had a different story, saying, I saw things Man, these stories be the sounding so fishy. And then a man ran across and punched the driver in the face, cutting him and knocking his glasses off. He explained, It was the accused Cardi who had been standing with the group, but as the two guys tried to restrain him, he wriggled past them, ran across, and punched the driver who stumbled back. The driver did not do anything to him and did not retaliate. I guess they were correct because in January, Cardi was convicted and ordered to pay $1,030 for assault and another $386 for reportedly damaging one of the driver's windows. But these didn't really make it's crazy Scotland? headlines as Cardi's mugshots were never released and his PR team did a very good job with keeping it hush and on the low. However, they wouldn't be able on to save him that's my first time I heard that story before. next run-in with the law. In the middle of 2020, a mugshot got released of Cardi and fans were like, what? As no one had heard from him online in a while. What ensued was a really random and had fans he very looks so confused. funny that It turned out bro. Playboy Cardi was riding in his Lambo, you know, rapper stuff, 
and was pulled over by the cops for having an expired tag. Once pulled over, the cops then decided to search the car and found a couple of things. They found three water guns, 12 bags of funny grass, some tic tacs of different kinds, and uh, some hey, orange juice funny that sick adults get take. The... Basically, a whole lot of substances <laughs> and weapons, all inside oh, the party's man. car. He was then promptly arrested, booked in county jail, and released the next he day after some posting grass, bond. Tic tacs, some water guns. Of course, fans were confused how he was found with all that stuff and got released the next day. It turned out his friend Jalen Tucker, who was riding the car with them, stepped up and took the charge. And later, it was revealed that I think that I did hear about random this. friend. It was Opium Baby, aka the co-founder. I did of hear about this. Opium. After this, fans were really concerned about what was found in the car, and not for his safety, but his health. A lot of fans thought Cardi was one of those rappers who rapped about substance use and other things, but didn't actually do it. So they were surprised when they found out he was really about that life. He looked healthy. They should have known better though. To them, he didn't hey, look Opium Baby or whatever I think that's his name. He a real one, bro. For real. Cause if you think about it, right? Damn, I didn't even really hear what the year was. But if you really think about it, bro, if Cardi did go to jail and do it, they take them charges, where would his career be at right now? Like, will he still be the same him right now? You feel what I'm saying? Cardi and have been for years. I don't know what happened. You can see it in his face. The dude's 23 and looks about 30 in his mugshot, where it looks like it's aged him by years. It's kind of worrying. So clearly, they were very concerned. But the worst was yet to come. In 2022, when Playboy Cardi was arrested for something pretty horrific. However, fans didn't find out till months later in February of 2023 when TMZ obtained a police report and a mugshot of the situation. Playboy Cardi I, I've seen this much to before. have a salty girlfriend over paternity test. Man. Lawyer says he's been falsely accused. Playboy Cardi was arrested back in December. This was his mugshot. He was arrested for allegedly choking out a girl that was supposedly pregnant. Here's what happened. The allegations are that Playboy Cardi yeah, physically yeah, harmed and choked his pregnant girlfriend. Same girl he was with when he was allegedly caught cheating on his ex-girlfriend, Iggy Azalea. And here are the actual charges. Oh, man. Aggravated assault, hindering a person making an emergency phone call. And according to the police report, here's how it all went down. Cardi's yeah, girl the told the police going she arrived his property motherfucker. on December 20th, 2022 at 4 p.m. to speak with him about the baby she was four months pregnant with at the time. She then said she was dating Playboy Cardi for two years and even lived at the property for less than a year but was recently kicked out the home nice one cardi oh wow he then explained that while having a verbal argument with the suspect aka cardi he attacked her she stated that the suspect grabbed her by the throat and pushed her into the bushes and said there were two males that worked for the suspect that stood there and watched then one of his employees jumped into the fight to break them up because the suspect was holding her by the neck the victim stated she couldn't breathe then once free she tried to get in the car and was attacked again by playboy cardi who attempted to pull her out of the car while covering her mouth. Yikes. Once she was able to exit the gates of Cardi's property, she pressed the Mercedes Benz SOS dispatch button in her vehicle and had them call police. They hit the it? SOS? People use that button? Bro, I had a button in my car and I'm like, damn, I, I really wonder when there's going to be the instance I have to use. Matter of fact, let me not even speak that into existence, bro. I don't even want to have to touch that button. You know what I'm saying? But damn, she give up. When the car hit the hit the SOS button, no, that isn't was that deep? Oh, man. Before police arrived, Cardi and the two men on the scene left in a black SUV. The police report then explained that they asked the victim, aka Cardi's girl, multiple times for the suspect's information, but she was kept anonymous by her. She stated that she did not want to give the name of the suspect due to the fact that it might hit the media and damage his career, which is just sad, but I guess he had a real one, kind of, I don't know. And there's still more. While making the report, the police stated that there were visible bruises on the victim's neck and in the middle of her back. Nine days later, the police had identified Cardi and arrested him. He was released the next day on a hundred thousand dollar bond what made this even more believable is 11 days before this all happened like i don't understand you got all this bread why are you putting yourself in these situations man like like 100k bond like bro i mean i know they got the bread like that but it's like come on man i wish i had 100k to throw on fucking bomb money. like what the fuck man and the woman cardi was dating took your <sighs> id story to write abusers be like how dare you ruin my reputation by telling people the things i did and said so this was 100 percent about Cardi, basically saying that he was forcing her to not speak up about this abuse for the sake of his reputation, and I'm not gonna lie, his fans wouldn't really care. However, his attorney Brian Steele made the announcement. Literally, it's hard. It's a lot of hardest to do that shit. Carter was falsely accused. This case will be dismissed oh, without any prosecution shit. or litigation, but it likely just meant that his girlfriend, who we've already been over, cares about Cardi's public image, was persuaded into not taking legal action, which is smart as they were having a child together, who would be delivered five months later. And even though 
though he was now see if he was falsely accused see now it's just a you believe it or not type of thing because if she just like on some like okay i ain't gonna say nothing because i want to damage career and fuck up his brain and he could be potentially you know taking care of me and shit whatever the case may be now it's like who the fuck do you even believe at this point if he did do that that's so fucking foul if he didn't do that he just falsely accused dude bro that is so far i mean at the end of the day i don't think any of them ended up losing unless she actually did get like you know what I'm saying fucked up for real like that and you feel me but man wasn't convicted she had to get a bag or something like a big bag a pattern was starting to emerge and it wasn't looking good for him at all woman who accused the guy of domestic abuse is gonna stay with the guy and this is gonna turn into nothing so i agree that it's gonna turn into nothing it's not a good it's not a good look for playboy cardi though because there has been at other all, cases bro. where he's been accused with um Playboy Cardi, Ruby Rose Airport. After the news was reported, Cardi's ex took to Twitter to confirm that Cardi had involved himself in this type of behavior previously. She said, been there, done that, warned you. Imagine having a pregnant girlfriend and pretending they don't exist. Yo, I swear Iggy Azalea pop up out the blue randomly, like out of nowhere to say what she got to say about this nigga and then disappear from that long. I swear I done seen her on so many occasions say some shit about this nigga or like get on his ass about something or like a sub and like, <sighs> man until it comes out you like to abuse them too basically saying that the same happened to her which just made the allegations even stronger however 99 percent of fans didn't really care they were just saying the mugshot was looking cool making their profile picture and we're just grateful a lot of people made that they profile him, picture which I, is kind of messed remember. up but it's normal for the cardi community who looks at him like a god and this isn't anything new any Cardi's rapper get a mugshot you're gonna see their fans partner. have this shit for they example profile picture. he skipped his son i still don't understand that bro play the playstation with especially young boy fans see his son be born he went to Philly to play the PlayStation with little Uzi. He I thought that was it. more important than seeing his son be born. Imagine, imagine spending time playing PlayStation. I'm not gonna lie, I keep it so real. That's some shit I would, nah, I wouldn't do that. Come on, nah, I wouldn't do that shit. I'm bringing the PlayStation with me to the room. Fuck is you talking about? While she having a baby, I'm playing 2K like these. <laughs> I mean, I'm a fucking. <laughs> you my niggas gonna be in a fucking rent game, nigga. Hit the game winner on this. What are they talking about? You feel what I'm saying? Real talk. With your friend instead of seeing your first son be, be born. Did they got a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen the picture. <laughs> I never seen the picture. What the Our, fuck? His then hey, that's fucking hilarious. Gifted him a Lambo. Christmas. Loser. <laughs> Get him a Lambo. Afterwards, after allegedly promising to make up the absence, he then canceled a family trip to celebrate the release of his album Whole Lot of Red instead. Kim, this really what you're gonna do? You're gonna not be there for Christmas for your son. That's it. You're about to leave hey, us stranded in no LA with no and go off, have a little party, have your album party. But hey, hey if you hadn't done that, we wouldn't have had the picture for the thumbnail for the YouTube video, right? And Cardi is actually yet to sign the birth certificate of his first child. However, what was equally messed up to some fans is how Cardi tried to cover it all up. And he did, successfully, for months, in a kind of genius way. Remember that this news came out months later? Right when it did happen, Cardi had randomly started teasing new music only for nothing to ever drop or have any plans of dropping. He wrote, I love all my supporters, it's time. Time for what, jail? So looking back, fans were like, oh, that's why he posted that stuff. To draw attention away from the charges that were about to surface. But of course, his team was able to Yo, keep it this, under wraps. Was this time, not all fans ignored Cardi's allegations. Many were shocked at Cardi's behavior, but also kind of impressed at how he avoided everything so well. One fan asked, how the hell did Cardi not get canceled? Another fan wrote, bro really got arrested and right after getting released on bond was like, it's time, bro. Time for what? Time for the next victim? Bro, it was so crazy, bro. Cause you know this nigga, he's so like mysterious, bro, that you don't see this nigga. Like when he posts, it's like crazy cause like he don't post. So now it's like, bro, even if some allegations come out about him, he's not saying shit about it at all. He's not gonna speak on it, none of that. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna let this shit ride out or there. Let me throw this out here and draw the fans attention to something else. And then we gonna keep life moving. I swear that's what it is, bro. But that's actually the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Cardi's allegations. The next are his alleged gang ties. As I said earlier, most most fans picture Cardi as flamboyant and sassy, but it turns out Cardi is more than the superstar <laughs> rapper side he shows to the internet and the world. He's hey, get also them feet on the camera, in the man. streets. I got two different lives. And when I'm not being king, you know, this other shit. 
I'm in the streets for real. At the time, no one really believed him until fans looked deeper and found out, wait, he may not be lying, and found out that Cardi may be involved in a dangerous street beef between two Atlanta gangs, which he has even alluded to in his music. The gang war he's allegedly between is between huh. two Atlanta gangs, the Backstreet Homicide and the Front Street Henchmen, and he didn't exactly ease the tension by Homicide. signing a couple members of Homicide, his label, either. But we'll go over that later. Homicide gang are Cardi's boys. For example, before he signed them to his label, I know this is so dumb. So Homicide Gang is the actual gang? Cardi has been seen oh, commenting bro. on Instagram posts, saying free different members, and even repped them hard in a whole lot of red, with iconic lyrics such as Free Problem Child, etc., and naming one of the songs after a member, Dino. And he has countless pictures and photos with them as well. So, they're why I never noticed that? I want to low-key re-listen re the whole lot of red because I feel like every time I go back and listen to that album, it's a new song I like on it that I didn't like before. I might gotta go let's check that shit out again. Really good friends. But you're probably wondering how and why Cardi has beef with the henchmen, right? Cardi's good friends with a member of Homicide, Lil 1 DT. They have pictures together, Cardi's in his comments, etc. And they even have a song together named, wait for it, Homicide. But Lil 1 DTE's dad is a man named Big Bank, who's big in Atlanta, and stay with me here because it'll all tie together the ops of playboy cardi i'm listening i'm hearing you rich i'm here and they're one of the most hated gangs in atlanta beefing with everyone in the city such as young thugs y cell and also press trippy red when he was in atlanta but the henchman's most oh, known shit. rapper is ola rutt who was pretty hot as an upcoming rapper and has a pretty dangerous history multiple charges such as a high-speed chase with the police yeah, microwave more, in his hand, you know, bro. pretty dangerous history multiple locked up due to the fbi's operation phoenix an operation that's sole purpose was to lock up the city's most dangerous criminals so it looked like Cardi and his label have smoke with one of the most dangerous rappers and gangs in Atlanta. Oh, but what's man. interesting is they weren't always beefing. They actually are all from the same place in Atlanta and grew up around each other. They had the same friends. For example, Ola Runt has pics with a lot of Cardi's old good friends. And there are old screenshots of Ola shouting Cardi out. So what happened? Remember Cardi's friend Lil One DTE's father, Big Bank? He used to be one of Ola Runt's biggest supporters, constantly shouting him out. But Ola oh, allegedly betrayed him by not signing to him which meant that he was now against cardi and homicide as well and that's where the street beef began with cardi right in the middle of it all a lot of disses went back and forth between cardi's homicide gang and henchmen and henchmen would live up to their potential they dissed cardi multiple times in songs as well as for his fashion sense but things really got serious when a homicide affiliate and cardi's very very close friend sosa passed away they were like brothers and he could be seen everywhere with cardi and rp man playing basketball timing, Sosa wore his chain, but in June of 2020, Sosa was taken out, and Cardi was mourning him, even changing his name on Twitter to R.A.P. Sosa, still shouting him out to this day. However, on the other side, the henchmen, they were celebrating, oh, dropping word. songs as if they were victory laps and saying things like they were smoking Sosa. But just like Cardi, at one point, the henchmen were friends with Sosa, even Ola, which just shows you how bro, weird he got this cheap is. Cardi on held back a lot due sweet, to his bro. mysterious persona that he had to upkeep. No matter what was going on in his personal life, must be tough. But in Whole Lot of Red, saying, bro, Cardi don't addressed speak on it, it all in multiple songs. In Stop Breathing, he said, I got mob ties, I'm on demon time, I've been with Lil Demon and Lil Bino. He also references Sosa saying ever since my brother died I've been thinking about homicide and let the front street henchman know that he's on their block on the way to front street who say we ain't outside and he was ready to get back. oh Both wow the How did, I, got a guy I really didn't Just notice kidding. nothing he already did for real. allegedly like, they, they said, connected I got up. guys in chain gang on my side I had someone Bola for a pie meaning that he had people in jail messing with him that were willing to take out Ola for Cardi how I swear with that song I never really like pay attention to the lyrics bro <laughs> that's how you know in a lot of these songs bro you'll be sitting here bopping the fuck out your head to this shit rapping the lyrics and you don't even know it's connected to something this whole time bro it's crazy bro it could be connected to something so crazy you don't even fucking know however from jail Ola runs this song be cranking up songs don't bring back dead people and the biggest three member of Homicide Benji Bluebills who Cardi recently dissed in his song You're the Moon and it actually makes really good music by the way remix stop breathing where he claimed ola never some of y'all was telling me react to this dude bro his this let me know in the comments if y'all still want me to do that got shanked and that really pissed cardi off because later audio would leak of cardi saying he could knock benji off if you wanted to if you catch my drift me, bro. Don't be making no noise like that it's from Atlanta, bro what happened if i get knocked off bro we're recording that man yo yo 
not that real. <laughs> Benji fired back, explaining he wasn't scared, by DMing a fan claiming none of Homicide care about Cardi, he's a joke in the streets, and a clown, and that Homicide gang was extorting Cardi, and making him look like a fool in the streets. He then said Homicide brainwashed Cardi, and now all Cardi's homies were next, after Sosa. Then, another one of Cardi's friends, R5, passed from an overdose, and they started dissing him too. But of course, does this have any I did good? hear about like, him his play with Cardi's him. gang? that he's affiliated with Homicide, a real one? According to Atlanta's law enforcement, they are, and a very dangerous one that they plan on making an example out of. The district attorney confirmed that they were working on building cases for multiple rapper-led gangs. Later, someone from the DA's office confirmed that Homicide is one of several street gangs on a road to racketeering charges, and fans were drawing oh, a lot of similarities man. to Young Thug's YSL case. But others- They building a case on them boys. Lord, they better be careful. Other than that, there are a couple of more carefree Allegations. After a whole lot of red came out, a fan pressed him for not being like that. You, you go ahead. What you going? I remember this clip. Because you reaching, you reaching. Saying, you reaching you well, this nigga's a hoe. You gonna push up on him, and then when he, you know what I'm saying? But he got that motherfucker on him, and he like, hey, bro, like, watch out. You gonna pull your phone out to record him? Like, what you reaching for, bro? Come on, yeah. Nigga, I self defense. You touch him is up. You feel what I'm saying, man? I don't know you. Yo, bro. now you wanna talk. What you mean? Put the, put the pistol brother, down. Put the brother, pistol down and, and, and fight me. Put the pistol down and it's fight me. Don't worry about who I am. Do not, do not, do not bit like that. Do not bit like that. Like that. It's cool. Do not, do okay. not, do not bit like, like that. What you been like? Ain't no pull trying to get him to throw away his whole career, bro. Ain't no pull oh, go ahead, record me. I can't show the rest, but it looked and sounded like Cardi sent him to the other side of Atlanta. He also has some pretty random ones. Back in 2017, when Cardi was blowing up for Magnolia, many rap fans believed he was homosexual. I'm serious. When Cardi said they thought I was gay, he wasn't lying. So the hip hop historian- Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, when Cardi started getting on that type of timing, bro, I'm like, oh yeah, this nigga gay. Nah, ain't nothing wrong if he gay. Music fire. So that, I don't give no fucks about that. You know what I'm saying? But like, he was on some, some, some zest timing, like some extra level on that nigga you feel what i'm saying dj academics took it upon himself to settle the case once and for all is playboy cardi gay i gotta get into this in the rumor that playboy cardi gay is that the homosexual or not i mean in new york i still merely yeah, rock that is so but <coughs> if, if, if Stupid, he's bro. not hiding it in his sock and he's probably hiding around his yeah let me clarify What's this let me on? clarify this his ex-girlfriend then explained she knew he was straight because cardi would regularly cheat on her with other women What's this? Going let on? me clarify this that's one way to clear up a rumor but <laughs> hey shawty you wanna know how i know he ain't gay bro he been cheating on me then it's like <laughs> okay <laughs> She just gives no fucks. Like, I'm gonna clear his name. He not gay. He be cheating on me and shit. The fuck? So, I had a friend always tell me, like, who Cardi would cheat on me with. And, um, like, because that would be... And then oh, he would she had like, the insider. Hey, stop right there. Okay, good to know. Thanks for clearing it up. So, it was settled. Cardi was a straight <laughs> heterosexual funny. male. But, hey. So, it's not true that Playboy Cardi was hiding it in his cock. As far as I know. This nigga like, act, bro. Actually, no. It's not as far as I know. He's not. I, I'm, to my knowledge, no. He is Playboy not. Cardi is not homosexual. Is not He's gay. completely straight. You were having with him. You never you saw heard it here first. This video I can't isn't called having the shocking this whole ass conversation, bro. It's called the shocking allegations of Playboy Cardi's label Opium. The next I'm about to say, on Cardi's let me see, label bro. With some pretty crazy allegations is none other I than Homicide. I Ken on this. And if you didn't know, Homicide Gang were ever rappers. They just met Cardi at a studio, showed him their first song, and he signed them. And when I say Homicide Gang, I don't mean the whole gang. I mean a duo that consists of two rappers, Nadino and Michi. And the allegations are toward one of them, Bino. In February of 2023, Ooh. Homicide Bino was accused of bringing a girl backstage who wasn't 18. How did it happen? Nah, it started Bino. with Reddit. Yes, Reddit. When a fan exposed them for allegedly fishing for girls who weren't of age at shows. The fan wrote, I was at the show in Indianapolis last night up front. Homicide, Osama, and the other dude, I don't even know his name, took two 15-year-old girls backstage and even tried to go backstage with them. Obviously, she said no, but that's weird. The girls allegedly, were allegedly not 18 as well 
it's not like they looked old. He then showed proof through Snapchat and DMs, and the proof was looking pretty solid. Another fan also said that there were other members of Homicide no. Gang going around finding younger fans. Now I talked to another fan after the show about how affiliates of Bino and Michi, people like Osama, were trying to get girls who weren't 18 backstage, probably gonna pull through friends. So there was that which is true, but now we have the Bino allegations with him and a year old. This was suspicious, but me and many friends were like, hey, you know, he probably didn't know her age. We don't know what happened and gave him the benefit of the doubt, especially since no one had heard his response yet. However, soon allegations and more importantly, a ton of proof began surfacing. There were multiple DMs of homicide gangs swiping up on teenage girls Instagram stories. For example, a DM surfaced of Bino DMing a fan saying, need you to come back after the show and show me some, only you. The fan wasn't 18. After that, more fans started coming forward with similar stories explaining um, they had heard um, of bro, it too. Bro. You was a rapper, you know you gotta do background checks on these motherfuckers man it don't matter what they look like because a lot of these younger girls be looking oh bro you gotta what's your age before i even say anything to you could you get put in this some shit like this you feel what i'm saying man ain't like come on bro more fans started coming forward with similar stories this allegation they had though. heard of him doing it too one fan explained hopefully this that ain't real Houston screenshots show, Bino was trying to get girls that weren't 18 to come backstage as well as through the people working for the merch another fan exposed him because he was getting annoyed that bino kept trying to take his girl who wasn't 18 as well and there's some more however i do want to preface that these are allegations and bino is 100 percent innocent as of now it's just oh, there were so guilty. many cases like this and because of that i feel like it's fair game to report on it so as you can see there was a string of allegations and it didn't look like they were innocent but of course hey, no, with Michi, still had time to me, I think Michi might be clean, man. To clear things up and you know you'd expect a rapper to say something along the lines of hey in the light of the recent allegations we'd like to say we would never engage in this type of behavior yada, yada, he ain't yada, say yada, nothing yada. right nope instead bino decided to post this to this story all y'all want to play these games and about 20 laughing emojis explaining to him it was a joke which innocent or guilty is a horrible response and just such a bad look especially when you provide like come on bro you know you ain't do this shit clear it up the fuck is you over here like man i'm not finna make no statement because i know i ain't do it now your fans is looking at you crazy now these is all allegations so like you feel me but you an artist you gotta say something bro you cannot let this shit just sit in the air you just threw it in the air and left it there bro you gotta say something like you feel me drop a little statement or something like yo boom, 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 whatever the fuck the case may be you feel what i'm saying man like no evidence so as expected the fans response wasn't very positive one fan said he's gonna be laughing in jail and big yikes they might be done so to me it's a sticky situation because yes there isn't really proof that they said they and were then you gotta understand the too bro it's not fair to your i'm about to say teammate but they, 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 they a duo he's a teammate his duo you know what i'm saying it ain't fair to him because now it's like y'all both looking crazy even though it's only one nigga that's doing this shit are they looking at the whole homicide gang like fuck y'all all got going on you know what i'm saying they're not gonna always i mean it looked like they just sing Singling out, bruh. But it's still like, you know what I'm saying? Now they looking at Homicide Gang as a whole, like, y'all niggas is weirdos. Man. DMs. However, it happened so many times, it's crazy. At some point, you just gotta take accountability. And then multiple However, occasions I do that say happened. in their defense, you gotta just say because though. someone DMs someone doesn't mean they know their age. Knew what age they were until after the fact. Now, if they. Now that's fair. But I'm saying, though, you know you're an artist, you gotta check these folks age before you say nothing crazy. Cause, bro, you just got straight to the nitty gritty. Like, I want you, and this is what I want you here for. Off the rip. Cause you saw them on their story and shit. And you ain't even see the age. So now they're like, oh yeah, they got 4K. Catch that's 4K. Take the screenshot. Share with their friend. That shit just spread everywhere. Hey, y'all here DM and underage. You gotta, like, you feel me? Follow through with it. Yes, rappers gotta be careful. They gotta bring IDs and be like, yo, you can't do anything with us or even chill with us unless you're of a certain age. But if it's just like a DM, like, yo, mm, like sometimes you can't tell how, how old someone is. Uh, but it looked like homicide what I say, was created. These girls be out here looking old as fuck, but they young, bro. Getting a history with this. And as a rapper, you got ID girls, right? If you get famous, anybody out there, please make sure you ID women when they're back in the green room and whatnot. Like, you don't want to get any allegations. Facts. Like, you know, some rappers Facts. we're not going to say but it happens a lot 
And also, to make it clear, no charges were pressed, and they are innocent of making this video. Furthermore, Homicide Gang's violent I mean, obviously they would, because, like, they ain't do nothing with him. Now, if they did something, I was like, okay. It looked like he was, you know, he was trying to get something out of, you know what I'm saying, these folks, like, you know what I'm saying, they were just being horny. But but to the wrong motherfucker. ...has also ended up biting Cardi in the back. After their allegations I just spoke about, they were pulled from the Destroy Lonely tour and all other shows. And recently, it came out that Cardi's tour had not started because Live Nation, company that's sponsoring Cardi's tour is in a lawsuit against them after they got into an altercation with another rapper named Summers. But they got to an altercation. Go oh, back. What do you say? Had not started because Live Nation, company that's sponsoring Cardi's tour, is in a lawsuit against them after they got into an altercation with another rapper named Summers. But there's one more allegation. They got into altercation with Summers. Label Opium, and it's against Cardi's protege Ken Carson, who was charged with some pretty serious stuff by a woman. Person in general. So I, that's something to caveat this whole thing has an allegation of some sorts from a woman or just something in their past to get into it ken carson is alleged just like his uh main he also got into it with the atlanta police at a little uzi concert after he was mistaken for a fan and they tried to remove him however regarding his domestic oh, charge wow. he was unfortunately wrongfully accused which is messed up and no one really deserves that in 2022, yeah, a year after the false charges were pressed, Ken was proven innocent and never spoke on it. Titled okay. Battery Domestic Violence. Notice that the bond is zero dollars. So just because someone got charged with a crime does not necessarily mean that they did it. Basically, the legal system yeah. is you get charged and then you go to court or you have like a negotiation with the cops, whatever, and they have to prove that you actually did it. So anybody could get charged. I could get charged for- So overall, these allegations are pretty shocking. Mostly Cardi's and Bean and just one last time, yeah. I do want to say they are all allegations. This video is strictly for I see loan no yet purposes. You know, Cardi or none of these people have been convicted of anything, and neither is Bino. They do have a lot of charges though, and Ken Carson has been proven innocent. I just think that the juxtaposition Bruh. of the way Cardi portrays himself online and in the media compared to the severity of these allegations is pretty crazy. But that's just my two cents. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. My name is Okay, Michelle. so no loan. Thanks for watching. Bye. Man, first things first, great video from Risha. I like how he explained everything, you know what I'm saying? But, bro, like, come on, bro. That just that just irritated me because, like, bro, Bino, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then Cardi shit was just like, man. But, hey, we ain't really seen no shit from Ken and Lone, so you know what I'm saying? They in the clear, you feel me? But, damn, Bino, fuck. Then again, it's like, hey, all this shit is allegations, so, like, I'm still going to crank their music and shit. Shit, but like just hearing that is like come on yo your character look real bad to me right now then again who the fuck cares what the fuck i feel like but hey man let's go wrap this reaction up man make sure you guys subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications hit that like button comment down below your thoughts on this whole little situation and shit that they have going on and shit i really want to hear y'all thoughts on the allegations and stuff also make sure you guys follow all my socials down below and i'll see y'all in the next video man peace Wait for a text or even a call back Sitting there counting them ditches But no amount of money could pay for that love back